What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now then, in this video I want to show you exactly how to replace your fuel filter on your BMW E65 series. Now then, right here I have an inline fuel filter from Bosch. I always go with Bosch. You generally know what you're going to get in terms of quality. And this is what the thing looks like. Now then, this is a diesel inline filter and it's pretty simple how it works. So you have one side where the fuel comes in from the fuel tank, goes through the filter, out of the other side where it then goes to the high pressure fuel pump on the engine. Now I don't know if this is specific to diesels, but on this particular filter there is a diesel heater and that just clamps on there and there's an electrical connector on the car where it just plugs in and that essentially heats the diesel before it goes into the filter. Now then, without further ado, let's get outside, let's get under the car and let's install this thing. Now then, so this is where the original fuel filter is located and it is on the left side of the car. If you're in the UK, that'll be the near side, passenger side. And to access the fuel filter, you'll actually need to remove one of these under trays, which is just held in by a whole bunch of eight and 10 millimeter bolts. So once you've got them out, you'll then be able to have access to the fuel filter. And there are various different ways how you could remove this thing. So you could actually disconnect the fuel line from the heater and unplug that there and then take the whole filter out and obviously disconnect it from the fuel line at the front take the whole thing out as a complete system or you could leave the heater in place which i think is what i'm going to do because there's one of those clips on there which is not a reusable clip so i think i'm going to try and leave the heater in place just dangling down unclip it from here unclip the heater from the fuel filter and then just take off the pipe at the front and pull the filter away. First thing is first though, we just need to remove these two bolts holding the bracket in place. There is a 10 millimeter nut that we need to remove. And then there is a, I believe T30 bolt. Okay, so I think before I remove this, because it's the only thing holding this thing up, I think I'm gonna go ahead and unclip that first, because otherwise it's just gonna be hanging down on the fuel line, so I wouldn't want that to happen. So yeah, I'm gonna actually unclip the heater first. I think it's just this, we'll prize this clip out, and it should come away, I believe. Now I might go ahead and undo that, I'm not sure yet though, the one at the front. And of course, that won't come away now because I need to remove it at the front. And now then it is time to put together our new fuel filter. So there is this rubber ring that goes around it. That's just to keep the clamp in place. There's the clamp itself. It goes on like that. And then there's actually a new o-ring which i can only assume sits in there but there wasn't one on the original one which is strange but that's the only place that i can see it fits in it is a very flat one so i don't think it's going to do an awful lot but yeah i'm pretty sure it just sits like that 
that's what I'm going to go with anyway. And now then, it's just about putting it in the right position. I need to get this on first. Is there an exact way this has to go on? Put that on after. There you go, then it just pushes on. There we are, so that just pushes on. Doesn't seem very secure, but so be it. And we'll put our bracket back on. Is that in the right position? Not quite. Just go up a little bit. It's about there. Obviously we can readjust that. Let's get this plugged in first. Let's take the cap off. And then... Let's get this pushed in. And then we can tighten this up, now that that's fully on. There we go, it's not done up tight. Now, it's just the bracket. Now that that's positioned up. And now that that's the clip back on, and we should be all set. And now comes the hard part of trying to get the thing started. Let's put the ignition on. Let's turn the heaters off. Now what we're going to do is prime the fuel pump. So I'm just going to cycle on and off with the ignition. because we need to get that fuel filter filled. And now it's time to try and start it. I'm pretty sure it's gonna do quite a lot of cranking over before it finally fires, but here goes nothing. There we go, and we're started. Just check, just check there's no leaks. Okay then, so that actually started quite a bit easier than I anticipated. I thought it was just going to keep cranking over for a minute or so. But, you know, give it 5-10 seconds and it just fires straight up. So, that is the fuel filter done. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Because I've got plenty more videos to come on this car. And I'll see you guys in that next video. Peace!